Hello folks, Killface of Baylor here doing a bounty on Murdon on Epona. I uh, wanted to show you a quick thing with the chest bounties in the tower. Right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pre-buff before we ever go into the fight, because why not? Also, I should have equipped that book beforehand. Uh, my buff would be slightly better. Um, so here we go. Oop, oop, oop. None of that. I'm about to show you the wrong way. Okay, now, here, I need to get three of these chests more. If I throw my lure, it calls for help, I get swarmed, right? Anything that I throw on this uh, could be a problem. And uh, I die. There we go. So, let's say I don't want that to happen, because I want to finish the bounty or something, right? What I'm going to do, well, first of all, I have to wait for my attunement to, to finish running up. Um, I guess I could have done that demo without the attunement, and things would have been perhaps a little better. But... I'm just going to stack as much damage on ice shards as I can without the without the lure at all uh, because it's a hard-hitting skill for me so I have damage from gear, damage from attunement and if you watch this no call for help so a couple of the things close by want to come attack me but it's much less of a swarm than it was before and the reason is because I killed it before it could call for help when I hit it the first time there's uh, it starts the casting of the call for help and I can avoid having uh, the kind of problems that I had that first time around just by killing it in one shot if you are in a uh, in a lixing group especially of squishy characters so I lixed entirely with mages and one druid one time and because I had some harder hitting skills I actually made a point to um, kill the the chests that were in the more difficult areas uh, first, and I prioritized those because it helped us to not get swarmed and to stay alive. And once my elixing partners actually knew what I was doing, they were fine with it. Initially, they were a little bit worried, but it turned out if other people shot the chests, we got swarmed at inopportune moments, and if I shot the chests, then they died. Um, and it's because I figured out somewhere along the line this whole thing of you can't just use whatever you want to kill the chests. You have to kill them on the first shot without lure. So this should work for that, but I'll call everybody because Ice, Ice Shards has a very large uh, cast radius. Um, yeah, we'll go for the one at the end of the other hall, I guess. Uh, normally, towards the start of the floor is the lower level area on a given floor. So, uh, the reason the book boosts my E shield is because it adds focus and all of my skills are focus based. Um, so, yeah, if you have a choice to run from one lay, lay stone to the other, or for of which laystone to start at, basically. You want to choose the one that um, is going to give you the lowest level of enemies um, for the most part on a quest like this, where all I have to do is pick up these scrolls, uh, because the chests are equal across a given floor in their HP, as far as I can tell in what little testing I've done. Um, I've never noticed a difference in HP, whereas uh, there is a definite difference in the capability of the mobs that the chest can call or the mobs that might be standing next to the chest that chase after you. So anyway, I hope that helps someone, and uh, 
I'll see you tomorrow in another video, unless I manage to upload another one today. I have been uploading every day, or at least very close to every day, for a couple of weeks now, and I plan to keep that up. So don't forget to uh, subscribe for more Celtic Heroes content. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, please leave feedback in the comments uh, if this helped, or if you have better ideas for ways to do some of this, or other things you'd like to see videos on. Uh, don't forget to share with people who may find this sort of thing helpful, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.